Hello there, fight friends. Andy Cottero with MMA.ca here with rising uh, superstar in the mixed martial arts, Canadian mixed martial arts world, Cody Trevanchuk. Cody, you're fighting at Unified MMA 51 this uh, in, a, in a couple weeks. You were supposed to be fighting Marcus Lopez, but you now have a new opponent. Can you tell us who that is? Yeah, so uh, Marcus Lopez dropped out for injury. I'm fighting Sean Johnson now. Now I just found Noodle is his nickname. So that might be the best nickname yeah. I've ever heard, Brutal Noodle. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I didn't know this until like five seconds ago when you told me. Can you tell me who he is and where he's from and what he's about? So it says his background's like kung fu, but to me it just looks like he he's uh he's well rounded. He, I wouldn't say he's spectacular anywhere, but he's well rounded. So nice. So you've been talked about amongst many people as one of the Canadian prospects in the, in the past couple of years. Your name is really up there. In fact, I was at Durham Fight Series this weekend, and I talked to Aaron Bronsetter, who uh, reports for TSN, and we were talking about prospects, and he, I asked him who he thought was a rising star, and he said, what do you know about that, uh, Cody, that Cody guy from Niagara Top Team? I said, Cody Chavanchak? He said, yeah. And so he's got his eyes on you, so that's kind of kind of good to know. But at the end of the day, I mean, you still have to fight and prove that everyone is right. Tell us where you are right now when you take a look at where you're gonna be ultimately as a fighter, like say when you finally level up in 10 years or whatever in your mid thirties and you're the best fighter you're gonna be in your lifetime, assuming that's like a level 100, where are you now and how much more development do you have to do to get there? To be honest, it's hard for me to say where I'll be exactly. Like I know I'll be in the, one of the biggest promotions in the world, whether it's Unify or UFC, Bellator, um, one of the top promotions, maybe champion, who knows. But I know I'm going to take it all the way to the top and just like the environment I'm in every day, training with the people I train with, mm -hmm. it's, easy, like, it's easy to see that. You know, we've gone to Vegas, I've trained with the number two guys in the world, the champ was on the mats and I'm getting good working with those guys right now at where I'm at, where I'm at and I'm evolving every day so the sky's the limit. You just got to keep putting in the work and stay consistent and trust the process. Some fighters train and they kind of hope they're going to make it big. You are training with the idea that yes, you're going to make it big and you're training accordingly. For prospective fighters out there, for young people getting into the sport, guys and girls, what, what do you think it, it takes, what's required for somebody who's serious about uh, championship level athletics, what kind of training and what do they have to put into the sport to, to get there? Say it again, sorry. Some people train and they just kind of hope they're going to make it big. You're training like you know you're going to make it big, and so you're doing what it takes to make it to that level. Yeah. If somebody's serious about the sport and mixed martial arts, and they want to get to those highest levels, what do you think they have to do to get there? Like, is it you just something? In the work, stay consistent. There's no secret. Like Chris and everybody here says it all the time. There's no, uh, there's no cheat code. There's no shortcuts. It's just hard work. You just yeah. got to stay consistent. Keep stay in the gym, head down, and put the work in. What does hard work look like to you in your life? In your weekly... I just watched one of the Monday morning wrestling practices. That's, that's a lot of hard work right there. But not everyone is going to be able to go to Niagara Top Team and train. So wherever they are in Canada, how much, like how much time and how many hours a day do you put into training? Like we're talking like preparation, nutrition, sleeping, all that kind of well, stuff. It's an all day thing then, if you're yeah. counting all that, right? Yeah. As you're a pro athlete, you have to put everything in every, all day pretty much, 24 hours a day, mm -hmm. really. If you account for sleep, nutrition, Rest time is important too, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's an all-day thing. It's an all. It's a 24-hour job. And I definitely see you putting in the work and it's showing off so far in your cage time, doing really well. Uh, but we're going to finish this interview and we're going to ask you uh, two big events this weekend: BFL 77 and UFC 289. Tell me your thoughts on Jasmine and Mike Malott and how you think they're going to do. Oh, they're going to kill it! I'm so excited for that fight. It's uh, it's huge. Like I've been to all Jazz's fights and Mike's fight, the last one in Vegas and it was I was there with them during the whole process it's just killer to see their mentality and everything they're gonna go out and perform to the fullest for sure thanks I guess I lied I said last question but this is the last question tell me about your experience so far with unified MMA they signed you to a multi-fight deal that's got to feel good having that in your back pocket knowing you have that support and you can just keep on training and fighting oh I'm super stoked on that like and the big reason like to go to unified because it, it was UFC fight pass right it's a huge exposure it's a great promotion. It's Canada's best promotion, right? So I'm excited to go out there and put on a show. Okay. Well, Cody, thanks for your time. Anybody you'd like to thank before we go? I'd like to thank my coaches, my team. We're just putting in the work, and we're just going to keep going. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Cody. Appreciate it. Appreciate there you it. go, fight fans. No, you got to stick around for the last oh, little bit. Yeah, yeah. You so, told me this, bro. 
Right. Yeah, so fight fans, there you go. Cody Chavanchek. If you don't know who he is now, you will know who he is. So make sure you get the pay per view UFC Fight Pass, Unified MMA 51, 23rd of June in Niagara Falls, Ontario.